Hello, welcome to Penner Cam. Today we are having a look at Wheel Ellen, which is an interesting mine. It's just up the valley from Port Town, and it's uh, yeah, it's an interesting little copper mine. Lots to see. Wheel Ellen was formerly known as Old Wheel Bassett and worked between 1826 and 1867, raising over 24,000 tons of copper ore to the surface. In its busiest time, over 220 men and women were employed here, sinking many miles of shafts and tunnels on around 10 different loads, which were the areas rich in ore. Although the mine was briefly looked at in the early 1900s, very few people have entered these workings since the mine closed. This mine now holds some interesting artefacts, and even some traces of the very last miners who worked here, which we'll show you later on. Okay, so that's all the others gone down. My turn to go. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're now at the bottom. This is the way onwards through here. And we're back up the shaft. So we've got an artifact here. We've got a really old piece of shovel. It's pretty cool. Been there a long time. Nice little dodgy boulder there. Got to be very careful here not to dislodge this rock. This rather large rock, because that would probably block our way in. And then right here, we've got like a nice little interesting little clay tally here that someone's left on the piece of timber right next to the shaft. Got an awesome ladder here as well. Going down. Some interesting deads all stacked up here which looks really good. So these are all the rocks which don't have any ore in, which they've just, they've stacked in all these void spaces just to get rid of them, just to save taking them to the surface. There's a nice little interesting box here we'll show you. Another nice little artifact, wooden box. Interesting shape that one, it's, uh, you see it's not square, it's, uh, it's like a tapered, tapered shape with the little handles on the end. Plenty of different tunnels, easy to get lost. So we'll have to be careful about where we came from. Tiny bit there. That added there goes up. That's what I'm trying to find. This little uh, winch shaft here we've got to walk by. Those plank. So this is the main stoke we're in now. You can see how it's gone up and they've worked it. And over there it's gone down and you can just see a few traces here of the copper leaching out of the sides of the of the stoke wall that they left behind. No, but there's also a, there's also like a log that we go over, isn't there? Over so there clear the water is down there, look. <laughs> Some delicate pieces of wood. <laughs> so it seems as though the water at some point gets quite high in here. I think it's a good, it's good that we're here at a dry time of year. This is obviously, this water level down here must rise right up in, in wet times. <laughs> right, so we've just come from down here. And now we're going back up there, up, up and up. Oh, it's nice to see this. <laughs> this rope was made off to something nice. Yeah. Been here climbing this rope and it's just made around a bloody dodgy old wooden platform. Is that the first one? Yeah. Anyhow, and it's got a half a ton of rock behind it, so when the platform does go, you get a nice showering rock. <laughs> nice. <laughs> this is why we love going down these mines. <laughs> just come across this nice old bottle here still left in the side of the tunnel it's a beauty no markings or anything on it don't think unfortunately the top's been smashed off but uh, yeah beauty now the squeeze <laughs> 
there's a really nice old shovel here. Just the head. See a little. Look at that. Broken off and left behind. Downhill slightly easier than uphill. That's the sole of a really old boot. Yeah, hobnail boot that. Awesome. <laughs> warm, eh? She's a bit warm down there, mate. Copper staining. Those deads. Yeah, yeah, look at that. that. Brilliantly stacked all on this on this platform, that is awesome. Bit of a man trap. Eric is expertly demonstrating how to cross the man trap without being caught. So this ground here is, is very, very rarely visited by mine explorers. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk to the sides, but if you look carefully here, you can see the heel marks and the hobnail boot prints from where the actual miners who would have worked this have actually last walked. So there really is very, very few people who have who have been through here. You walk on the edge of me, but yeah, you can really see them here. The old boot marks, and that's the heel, the heel piece from the boot. Yeah. That looks nice. Nice little drop down. Yeah. Got some more bits here. I don't know what these are from. Maybe, maybe part of a kibble or something like that. Struts for something. That there, actually. My legs off. That looks like a cart axle. I would have said. See the round pieces. And then the flat with the fixings. I would have said that's the bottom of a cart. So these pieces here could be the reinforcements from a old mine cart. Cross this winch shaft and definitely not fall in. You can see it's quite a drop here, but there is some nice little footholds. We're gonna head back up here. So we just stopped on the way back and we totally missed this piece of timber on the way in. This lovely big piece of timber which they've they've put in as a support to keep this keep this ceiling up and they've hammered all these bits of wood in to get maximum contact along the planks. Awesome really. Still in place. Looking good. <laughs> Always nice as well to see all these these timbers here without people's names and that scratched in them. Always a good sign that not many people have been down a place when you get all this wood like this and no one's put their name in it. That's a good sign. So, managed to find our way back out. If you're ever coming down this mine, be very, very aware. It's, it's quite a bit of a maze down here. Everything kind of looks the same. There's a lot of little hidden and tight turnings and you might find that going in one direction, you don't really recognize what it's gonna look like going back the other way. So best to just be really aware of where you're going. Maybe leave little stones in little lines as markers if you need to. So yeah, if you're coming here, be, be careful. Let's just have a little look up there. Don't know that far from here, does it? No, you stop, you try and find it. <laughs> Don't even need a rope. So we're back up now. Absolutely lagged, as you can see. Good little explore. That's very really interesting. Lots of little tight crawls and narrow places to have a little look in that no one's been in a long, long time. But now, good explore. Time for a pasty.